Well, Gaffer, before we, we look ahead to the football, the January transfer window has now closed and we're a bit busy on deadline day with two players running and one player leaving us, so reflecting on the business we've done, how do you, how do you feel the squad's not looking, man? Yeah, I, I was talking to the squad um, just before training and, you know, I think we're in a strong place um, in terms of that, that strength in the squad, strength of depth uh, that we've probably never had. So, um, delighted, you know, with the business uh, that's been done in January. And what are your thoughts on the two players we did bring in on deadline day? Because he's a player that will probably excite fans and likes to play in the front foot, mm. but Levi's been here before, but he's kind of come to you as a different player with, with experience in League 2 with Bradford. Well, absolutely, yeah, mid-twenties now, um, and, you know, he's made his mark at, at Bradford. I think he was a very popular player uh, with the fans there, and, you know, we're delighted to have brought his, his pace and, and attitude, and, you know, he's, he'll roll his sleeves up, and um, he's also, you know, not going to be undervalued as a, as a player. You know, he's a good footballer, so we're delighted to have him, you know, here for the long term, and he's going to play a, a key role. Kazim is the loan to the end of the season. Um, but already in training, you can see his, his pace and his direct style, and he's here to get the ball and, and run and excite. Yeah, and of course we lost Josh Ross, I feel, but probably something we weren't planning for given how late it all unfolded. So you must be pleased that we were able to act swiftly and get someone into the place. Yeah, absolutely. I was on my way to one game, Thursday on his way to another game, and at the same time, you know. This is why Lloyd's here is working really hard in the background to, to make things happen. And um, once once he found out that uh, once we knew that um, Huddersfield's position over Josh, um, we didn't want to leave ourselves short. And you know that's where the the, the speed of Lloyd came into it. You know his awareness um, of Levi's situation at Bradford and his availability made it made it a really good um, you know deal for us because you know with Josh and the other loans it had gone up to six players which you know it does make it difficult uh, to keep it real uh, harmonious because um, you're only allowed five in a match day squad so there's always going to be one disappointed loan player uh, we didn't want that but at the same time you know we were happy to keep uh, Josh because he's a, a really good lad uh, but it's worked out well for the lad he gets a crack at league one and it's worked out well because we've got another permanent signing and growing with us in, in, for future years is that a testament to sort of the improvements we have made off the part of bringing in Lloyd, a guy, obviously you trust, you, you've managed, but now you can trust his instinct on players and, and he can act swiftly when you are out looking at it games as well. Yeah, it's been a, a seamless transition, you know, for, for us all with Lloyd, um, because he's uh, been such an integral figure on the park and a character, you know, the, the fans, I think it was a popular appointment for the fans, really, because they know it's another wholehearted 100% are off the pitch, you know, that... Um, uh, so it was it, it was easy and it's been it's been really good. It's even come around for tea actually uh, a couple of weeks ago, which uh, the players found that pretty funny. And but um, no, it's it's important. You know, he's got his finger on the pulse and he's it, he's gone into it with as much vigour as his uh, 50 tackles. Yeah, and looking ahead to the action, tests don't come much bigger than Carlisle, especially in the form they're in. So you know, we're looking forward to to make the trip up there and and pitching ourselves up against one of the best teams in the league. And absolutely, and this is why, you know, we've been on the journey we've been on, you know, to get to the Football League, to play in front of nine, ten thousand 10,000 uh, fans, all paying for blood, all expecting, you know, they're now in the top three and um, they'll be hoping it's their year to go up automatic. So, you know, we're, we're looking forward to the challenge, you know, they've got a good squad uh, full of fitness and, you know, belief at the minute and um, we have to go up, you know, with a game plan and um, have no regrets, you know, and, and be bold about it and, and, be, and be strong and resolute and also disciplined. Last time out it was a, a free, free scoring game, three each, but I think it'll be like that again. I think both defences will be trying to improve on, on, on their sort of showing last time out. Yeah, probably bang right there, you know, I think it's, you yeah, play, you know, with, with um, the freedom you know, that we want the players to play with freedom and express themselves, but at the same time, not to give us heart attacks on the sidelines by, by shipping in uh, three goals. You know, we've got to keep it tight. You know, we've said to the lads, um, you know, it's still 20 games to play at, you know, and half the league, you know, are, are thinking about the players and half the league are probably, you know, looking over the shoulders and, you know, there's that um, fear of, you know, any team in the bottom half can go down. So, you know, and we're one of those at the moment, so we have to face reality uh, and um, but do it with our style and I think we've all learned lessons this season. Yeah, and looking at the squad, how is, how is the squad shaping up? Will we get any injured lads back or is it too soon? Just Will and Kyle are on the sidelines, um, still 
you know, working the way back towards fitness. Will um, just felt his knee a little bit. It probably wasn't related to his injury, but you know, we have to have to make sure that he's happy um, with his progress. And Kyle's brace off and he's galloping around the the pitch, so um, he's got a smile on his face, knowing that it's a return to the pitch is just around the corner. But other than that, no, everybody's turned out for training. And, um, excited about the prospect of going for, to a top three team and a good crowd on Saturday. And with so many new bodies in, it's, it's probably a good thing that the injury concerns are easing because you've got as good a chance you could have it picking your, your best possible 11 by some new signings come in that will want to state their claim on that. Good selection headaches. You know, we we um, feel that we've got a good strong squad as I've already mentioned, but you know, we we worked it well and Stephen Edgeway who stood up strong and Carl Isla are also strong uh, team too we weren't at it first half um, last Saturday but uh, bounced back well in terms of performance level second half so we don't think we're far off it but with the additions as well um, and the competition for places driving up performance level we've got everything to be positive about